In many ways, my name is Se Wen Cheng from Hong Kong. This is my husband. <laughs> uh, his name is uh, Caleb Lam. And the last time I came to Synagogue Church is in January this year. Uh, the problem brought me into Synagogue Church is uh, depression. In the past over 10 years, I have the problem of depression. I easily felt unhappy uh, because of people's comments or people's action to me. Uh, sometimes when I woke up, my brain is full of negative thinking. I didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to pray. I didn't want to speak anything with my family members. And I was really sad. And when I was very frustrated and de depressed, I had the thought of committing suicide. After I got married in 2017, and I had the problems. I had the thought of divorce with no reasons. Actually, my husband did nothing wrong to my marriage or even to me. He treated me very well, as always, but I still kept have the thought of divorce. After the man of God paid for me and touched me, just touched me, and I felt the, thought, the love of Jesus, and I was very touched, and I cried. After I came back to Hong Kong, uh, my mindset is totally different, and I feel happy easily, and I no longer have the thought of committing suicide and also divorce. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, the depression, what happened to the depression? Depression has gone. Hallelujah. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? That clap is not the love for Jesus. If you know Jesus is a miracle working God, put your hands together louder, I say, for the miracle working God. Good morning, Emmanuel. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Caleb Lam from Hong Kong. The woman uh, standing next to me is my wife. Um, the testimony I want to share is uh, um, my wife's depression and then uh, the commissary I thought, and the div uh, she would like to, she want to divorce with me in the past, during the past. Um, during the, before she came to Synagogue Church of All Nation, actually, she, her mindset is very, very, very negative. Everyone in, next to me or behind me or, or around her, around her talk, talking anything to her, she will think that that, is that guy or that people, they don't love her, they don't like her, and she will think about the negative things and feel very, very sad. And sometimes they even, she even think about go to die or commit suicide by it. But uh, after... Uh, we got married. Before we got married, that is her problem. After we, we got married, um, during this uh, one and a half years, she will feel suddenly want to divorce with me. And she told me a few times already, I want to divorce with me. I asked why. I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong on you, on our marriage. And I love you so much. But uh, she said, I don't know the reason, but I don't, I don't want to marry with you now. I want to divorce. And after uh, she came back from synagogue church for all nation, go back to Hong Kong, I feel her totally different in the mindset because uh, when people around her uh, talking some negative thing on her or negative thing in the, in the, in the environment or the, the society, she will not thinking any negative. She become a very, very positive people. And after that, I never heard that she want to divorce with me. <laughs> Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Put your hands together for Jesus. Now she is because now she is delivered, so that I would like to uh, advise, give you advice all over the world for the people watching the Mary TV. Because the uh, uh, Bible said, two people become one already after marriage. We can't, people can't divorce because uh, we need to follow the God words. And God will kill our problem, will solve our problem. Everything in God is possible. I just uh, want to uh, speak to all of the people all over the world and just open your heart to Jesus. In Jesus, all things are possible. He can solve all our problems and just leave it to the Jesus and he can solve it. I will give glory to God Almighty for transforming your life and your marriage. I want to advise you to continue to follow Jesus Christ along the way, knowing that the state of being is as rewarding as living in tune with God. I will 
pray that God might be always give you that grace to stay far from sin and be close to him always in Jesus' name. So once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now I love my husband very much. Thank you, Jesus.